morning. Thanks for being Good here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. So I think even in the best of years before COVID, you didn't have, a, you know, wasn't the majority of people maybe that got flu shots. So um, now are, are people, even less people aiming to get it, do you think? Well, I think it's important that we look at... Uh, what the risk is and we know what happens in the southern hemisphere yeah. uh, during their winter they had a really bad flu season this year Australia South Africa New Zealand and I've just come back from Australia actually looking at some of the flu cases down there and so we know that it's the potential is there so let, let, let's urge on the side of caution let's do what's good for our families and get a flu shot but what do you say to the people who say that half the time it doesn't work I still get the flu it, it does. It, it, the idea is to keep people out of hospital. It's the idea is to keep, you know, to keep mm. those symptoms as low, as minimal as we possibly can. We don't want anyone to die from the flu. And we, we know we have 56,000 Americans on a, on, a, on a year and in a normal flu season actually die or succumb from flu, which is terrible. And we know the, the vaccines, especially the flu vaccine, can help decrease those symptoms. Mm. Same advice on, on COVID. I think people are feeling like COVID is, is becoming a not, so, not so serious and maybe they don't need to get their third or fourth shot. Oh, I'm really surprised, Larry. I just mm. arrived back from Australia on mm. Sunday. I came back into Washington, D.C. I traveled up to Chicago and the number of people that they knew who I am, they know what I do. And they said, Gav, I've just had COVID. And it wasn't as bad as I thought, right, but, right. but but I was I was down watching Netflix for two days. Yeah. That leads to absenteeism in the work. Yeah. We've just we've heard of schools having to adjust their schedule. Airports at the moment, hotels are all short staff at the moment. So we don't need to to lose any more of our workforce. Let's talk about cleaning. The difference between cleaning your house and sanitizing it. I remember in the beginning of COVID, we were wiping down our groceries. <laughs> um, obviously, that kind of went away. What should you be focused on most if you want to keep? germs out of your house during this season? Well, this is a great question. It's really interesting, Robin. Think about where we spend most of our time. So when you reach the On age... the couch and at the TV room. Exactly. <laughs> so when, when you reach the age of 80, yeah. you've probably spent 72 years inside, yeah. indoors, in the built environment. <laughs> yeah. That's 90% of your time. Yeah. So we really want to focus, and I, and I work for ISSA, the, the, the Worldwide Cleaning Association, um, and we focus on cleaning for health and you clean the areas you touch and you clean and disinfect those areas. Now the rest of the areas can be cleaned on, on a normal routine, but we, we really want to decrease that risk of transmission of germs and diseases. We clean the areas that we touch and we do it in a way that works. It's based on science. Hmm. But do you need alcohol or is there a certain way that people do it that is wrong? It's I mean, what happened to good bacteria? It, it, this is, I get this question all the time, yeah. Mary. It's like, I know how to clean. I'm a mum. Yeah. yeah. And I went, oh, I know you do, but have you seen the tools, the equipment, the products, the chemistry, all the research that's been out there for years that has made it safe yeah. and healthy? And it's really important that we look at that, that, that technology, those tools. You know, it's important that we use the same, uh, a different cleaning cloth for different surfaces. The one you clean your bathroom, you don't use for the for the dining room well, table. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, and for more information, you can head to rethinkclean.org. Doctor, uh, thanks for being with thank us. Thank you, doctor. You're very welcome. Sure, he's a doctor. He can afford all these rags for all these different <laughs> rooms.